what is up YouTube today we're gonna be bringing you a, a new video and um, we're gonna be discussing something a little different today so today we're gonna be talking about how to bless a homeless person in your area now we know it's simple you could give them five dollars and they could decide what to do with it we never know what they're gonna do with it maybe they are gonna go buy themselves breakfast they're gonna go buy themselves lunch or they're gonna go get the next pack of cigarettes they're gonna go get their next uh, bottle of beer we don't know so you know one one better way we might be able to benefit these individuals a lot of people start giving bottles of water which is great uh, but it's a short-term solution for that day they get a bottle of water great so my mother operates a charity it's called two mile giving um, and an idea that they've come up with they're gonna start doing and they're gonna tell their friends and family to start doing something you can do to benefit someone is start carrying a little bag in your car full of uh, some little goodies now you can use backpack if you have a spare backpack laying around this would you know even once uh, the individual uses the stuff in the bag the backpack is always gonna last and they can use it uh, you know potentially for years another idea is you can have one of these little bags with that you may get from the hospital, gift uh, giveaways, people get these and they have them just laying around their house sometimes. You can find them at yard sales, real cheap. And then if you don't have a backpack or you don't have one of those bags, you can just go simply with a little uh, gallon Ziploc bag. And so great things you can put in these gallon Ziploc bags, you just take a gallon Ziploc bag, bottle of water, bottle of Gatorade. Uh, these are some Ritz crackers, you know, some good non-perishable snacks. Uh, something to keep them hydrated and then um you know if you stay at motels hotels any of those frequently and you know how many times you go to a hotel and you don't use the hotel body wash the hotel soap well you can carry little soap bars from the hotel in here and that's going to give them their that's going to give them some soap and some soap you can throw a little toothbrush in there just any little things uh, that someone would use on a daily basis. Throwing a granola bar, throwing a bottle of water, you know, throw in uh, a little thing of soap. If that's all you have, that's fine. You know, just, just to benefit that individual uh, for a little while. And especially if you have a backpack, that's gonna, just that backpack's gonna help them out. Another thing is, you know, you can go to a Walmart and maybe to give them something of real substance, uh, you can go buy some cheap uh, off-brand um, meat. You know, how great would it be to have some crackers and some chicken or tuna to put on it. Uh, so you can buy just a little single serving pack of tuna or uh, maybe one of these cans of Pop Tops. So they can just pop it. They ain't going to have a can opener. Well, more than likely they may, uh, but they're going to have the can up. They may not have the can opener, so you're going to be able to pop that off and use that. Uh, so it's a, just a great way. I mean, you know, you could go to Dollar Tree. You know, a bottle of Gatorade, a thing of chips, a toothbrush, toothpaste, and a thing of soap. Five dollars. And put it into a gallon bag and you have something that's going to make that person's day. Uh, I've, I've done it. I've gone over to uh, Family Dollar before and spent five dollars and gone up and given it to the homeless man on the corner. And it, it made his day. He told me, you know, he was so happy to receive it. And no one's going to complain about getting some free stuff. Yeah, they may ask, well, do you have any cash? You know, perfectly fine if you don't have cash. You just say, I don't have any cash, but I can't give you this today. And if they're upset about it, don't worry about it. You know, everybody is having their days, and we don't know the kind of situation they're in. So um, definitely great to give these people, uh, uh, you know, just some hope for the day. So the next time you drive down the street, you see that man on the corner asking for some money, Maybe don't give them some money. Maybe give them something that will uh, feed them for the day and help uh, keep them clean for a little while. You can give them a backpack. It's going to help them always store stuff. You could be able to have even a change of socks. Uh, I've worked with the homeless, and um, one thing, they get their socks wet. They can't just run up, you know, go throw them in the wash. Can't run up to the laundromat, go throw them in the wash. So they wear those wet socks. No one likes to wear wet socks. So even if you, especially if you give socks in the in these bags, the socks you can get socks cheap. And they're a great option. And then if they have that backpack, they can change out their socks where they have a dry pair in their uh, backpack always. So uh, just great simple ideas. So uh, 
you know, we just recommend um, it, it a, a great way to bring hope to individuals is to just pack a little bag in your car, you know, keep it in your trunk or wherever. And the next time you drive by someone, say, I got something for you today and, and give it to them. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to make their day. It's going to make your day. And it's going to so shut there is uh, some hope in the world. So um, this was a, an idea from my mother um, who is in charge of Two Mile Giving Charity. Um, and they're doing some great work. And yeah, we'll hope to see you next time.